Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome from the English South Coast. This has always been an atmospheric venue, Fratton Park. I'm Derek Ray, here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action. And on Christmas Day, our gift to you is what we hope will be a top-quality football match. It's Portsmouth up against Southampton. Well, thank you, Derek. We're in for a real belter today. I haven't got you a present, by the way. But anyway, back to the football. Christmas is for football. Let's have a cracker today. Well, he has to be regarded always as a dangerous opponent. But what should we expect to see from him in this game, Lee? Well, we say to each other in the back four, don't give him a yard because he will score. Don't give this lad half a yard. He's such a great finisher. Set the Portsmouth starting 11. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central strike will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Thank you. Enjoy the looks for Southampton. Looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. Esposito. This might pay dividends. Just wanted to get it out of there. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. It might be on for them. Real danger. He cuts it back. And he couldn't take advantage of that opportunity from close range, Lee. How close does he want to be to score? He's gone for power and fluffed his lines. So glancing at the table, it's easy to see why there's been so much frustration in the Watford camp. They flattered to deceive more than a bit. Well, you just expect them to be in a Champions League place all the time, and they're not. They've dropped their standards right from the top to the bottom of this club. The performances on the pitch haven't been good enough defensively and offensively. Not good enough at all. Back from the byline. Almost unbelievably, he's kept it out. Well, I'm not sure how he's reached that. Just look at the stretch on that. Brilliant save. into the area that's all they can conjure for now ball lost Sandro Tonali Esposito patient build up at the moment what can he do from here? And no nonsense defensive clearance. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. They've regained possession. Sandro Tonali. A chance maybe from the wide position. Well, they're going to forge ahead. Can they 
slot at home. Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. But he's gone short with it. Giving it a try. The opening goal. Due reward for their efforts. Well, they've made the pressure count. They really deserve this lead. It's a good delivery from the corner. And they think they've cleared it, but it's not. It's still in the danger area. And before you know it, it's in the back of the net. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. We can see that calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. The opening goal of the game then. Run it superbly to take back possession. Let's get an update from the Etihad Stadium where a goal has been scored, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Harry Kane. He lost his marker from a corner and powered home the header. 22 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Sandro Tonali. Really a very poor ball. Cafaro. He's going forward well here. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Now, can he deliver accurately? And they did have the ball, but not anymore. It comes to nothing. in the centre that's excellent defending following the cross giving the ball away let's join Alan McAnally because I... that's a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick the post but back in play delivering it into the box I don't think in the grand scheme of things he's going to be terribly proud of that headed attempt well heading practice in training next week that was pretty average to be fair they've got it now what can they do maneuvering his way forward he succeeds in clearing it It's opening up for them. Anton Miranchuk. Sandro Tonali. By no means on his own here. Sandro Tonali. Esposito. Oh, a nice looking pass. Well, he had designs on a double, but the goalkeeper wasn't having it. Well, he did better than the first time, the goalkeeper. What a save that is. Corner kick played over. The end product just wasn't there. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. And Houston with it. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. A chance maybe from the wide position. Promising this. 
It looks promising. Sandro Tonali. Crossing possibilities. Read it superbly to take back possession. He's found a pocket of space. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Delivered into the area here. Sandro Tonali. Giving them the gift of possession. Esposito, Dembele. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, he certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Useful ball towards the back post this time. Couldn't quite keep it down. Goal kick. Tonali with it. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Portsmouth facing Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Southampton facing Bournemouth. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. It should be a really entertaining match. And options in the centre. Sandro Tonali. He continues to make hay. Well, the cross needed to be better than that one. Well, he got the touch on the ball. And so a corner it'll be. So the corner played into the box. It hasn't come to very much. It needs an accurate cross. Sandro Tonali. Giving it a try. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. Tonali with it. And he takes it on. It has to be! Just drifted into the illegal position, offside, in the opinion of the officials. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Esposito. This looks promising. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. Rafael Santos Boré into the advanced position. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. He must finish! And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here it is. You have to say it's against the run of play, but they've soaked up the pressure and gone and got himself a very important goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, the manager knows that's plan A sorted, got themselves back into this. Now can they go again? Even Steven won a piece on this match. Sandro Tonali. Yeah. 
Moving into the advanced position. No nonsense clearance. And can he deliver accurately? Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Magnificent defending. And first-class defending cleared off the line. Ward Prowse. Throw-ins given. An unforced error, you've got to say. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Doughty defending to win the ball back. Slipshod passing. He has plenty of support. Must score! And the goalkeeper, Lee, a picture of concentration. Well, he had his eye on the ball, he waited for the striker and then he smothered it. It's really, really good goalkeeping. Well, we always think we know exactly what we saw, but on these occasions, the goal decision system comes in handy, Lee. Well, not on this occasion, because it wasn't... As a go! Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Well, this corner could be pivotal. It might represent the last chance to get in front in the dying moments. A little variation on the usual theme. Short. He's going forward well here. Only ten minutes remaining here. That's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Lord Kraus. Patient enough build-up. Can they carve out a chance? Esposito. Five minutes remaining. And level pegging here. They've lost it. Good vision. Can he get onto this? He has been deemed to be... Offside, not by much, Lee. Brilliant, brilliant officiating, that is. Look at that, spot on. And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up, and both will come on here. Sandro Tonali. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Well, the home fans are a little bit frustrated today. The team hasn't been at their best, but surely the quality will count in the end. Teammates could potentially join in. What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. And deciding to go short with this one. Low ball in. And he knows he can do a lot better on the shooting front. Well, how many times has he had that chance in training and scored on that occasion all over the place? The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes. Giving them the gift of possession. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Just wanted to get it out of there. As teammates waiting inside the area. Well, he was being very closely marked, but the header not on the target. No, just off target. And the thing is, the defender did his job, but he just couldn't quite get enough of his head on it. 